you create the table, that table headers on every single SPU, they all think they've got that table. When you go to load that data, every one of them opens up a three megabyte extent and the rows are loaded in that three megabytes until it says, hey, I filled that up. And you go, that suitcase is filled up, that block's filled up, that extent's filled up. And they go, yeah, and they go, open another one. And that's like growing like when you're a kid. When you're a little baby, you're this big. As you get bigger, your body naturally grows. And Natiza does this for you without any user intervention. Do the math. Three megabytes, three million bytes. That can be broken up into 24 128K pages. And that's an even further breakdown of how that extent is going to hold those rows inside there. And then, of course, what I need you to see as clear as a bell on top of that extent is the zone map. It's going to take the first 200 columns of that table and it's going to put the min and the max value for all of the rows in that particular extent. So first column's gonna have the min max value, the second column's gonna have the min max value, unless it's a character data type, then it doesn't do that. So now we understand that each extent is gonna have its own zone map so that they're gonna know what's in there for the most part between the min and the max. And the great news is, is they can quite often decide based on this query, this block could not possibly hold that data because it falls outside the min-max range. Don't bring it into memory. That's the secret sauce. Data has been loaded every day into this table. All I've put in this table is one column, and that's order date. And we started in January, and we started loading data on each SPU, and the SPU opened up an extent of three megabytes and said, hey, I'm loading the data. And about March, they go, hey, I've got January to March data in here. I opened up another extent. I got March to June here. And that's really how this data is going to lay out in the extent. So, of course, the zone maps are going to reflect that. If we run a query that says, you know what? I want to select all of the orders that happened in February. They go, you know, I'm looking at the zone map. We're going to have to read extent one, but there's no sense in reading extent two. It couldn't possibly hold that data. It falls outside the range. We just saw how data naturally was loaded. So the order dates were kind of January, February, March, but that wasn't the distribution key. You sometimes have to be careful not to pick a date column as your distribution key. Why? Well, when you do that, all of maybe the January orders are going to go to one SPU. If you picked, I want the distribution key to be month of order date, they go, well, good, all the January orders are on SPU 1, all the February orders are on SPU 2, and so on. So when we go to process and we run normal queries like, hey, what happened between January 1st and January 31st? Only one SPU's out there doing all the work. You see, the real cleverness about the Natiza system from the get-go design is that they're going to break the data up so each SPU processes a portion of that just naturally. And that's why you may not want to consider making a date column your distribution key. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need to learn SQL for Natiza, Teradata, or Aster? Visit coughingdw.com for our helpful training guides. With Teratom, SQL stands for So Quickly Learned.